Friends, when someone says it's a 10 Sigma event, odds are the person has absolutely no clue what Sigma means or what probability distribution means. So let me explain it with a simple uh, example derived from LTCM. Uh, I remember Robert Merton, the fellow who got that uh, Nobel uh, medal, pseudo Nobel medal, uh, could not get it. He himself said it's a 10 Sigma event. Uh, and, and, and again, unless it, you have a 100% probability of the data being Gaussian, and, and, and you know that from God, in other words, you're not discovering it, there's the slightest doubt that the data is Gaussian. In the presence of any other probability distribution with fatter tails, you're going to reject the Gaussian. So let me show the derivation, and uh, it's a very simple uh, application of Bayes' rule. And the idea is a distribution cannot judge itself. Okay, we do not observe probability distribution. We observe realizations. You don't like, it doesn't come with the data. This is a meta problem uh, I've been working on for a long time. Um, people just don't get it, but that's okay. Uh, if you phrase it that way, maybe they'll get it. So let's say that someone says it's a 10 sigma event. Okay, the probability of exceeding 10 sigma, the survival function here, 1 over survival function is 1 in 1 1.3, 10 to the 23. I mean, rare, very rare. Now, a competing distribution, say with the same scale, the student t distribution, uh, a 10 deviation of something of that same magnitude, if you scale it back, would be 1 in 75. Now, we can, on Mathematica, program Bayes' rule, if you're lazy like myself and don't like to do algebra anymore. Um, you say probability of A conditional on B, the conditional sign on Mathematica is weird, but uh, convenient, so it don't, uh, uh, you don't confuse it with uh, other symbols. Uh, incidentally, that's one uh, uh, advantage of Mathematica, is that it's, everything's precise. You get what you put in. Everything's precise. There's absolutely no ambiguity in the language you put in, anyway. So it's equal, probability of A conditional on B equals probability of B conditional on A times the ratio of, of probabilities. I replace PB by PB equals probability of B conditional on A times probability of A plus probability of B conditional on non-A times probability of non-A. So we get that standard Bayes rule, this, and this expression where B is uh, uh, deconstructed. And then, as an equation one, I replace B with event, A, a Gaussian, non-A, non-Gaussian, non-B, non-event, and P, uh, so uh, probability of non-Gaussian is one minus probability of Gaussian. So now we want to see if, what's the probability that the data uh, being Gaussian, conditional on event, okay, if you have a prior uh, probability being Gaussian. And then we run this and look at the table we get. If your prior probability that uh, it's only 50% chance that it's uh, the data is Gaussian, you get uh, something to 10 to the minus 21 probability of the uh, data being Gaussian, conditional on event. And then you go up. You really, to really stay in a Gaussian and, n and not reject the Gaussian, you got to be in really uh, certain. Anything short of certain, look at here, you point uh, like 9, 9, 9, nine. So 1 minus 10 to the something to the uh, minus 10, for example. The probability of the data being Gaussian conditional on an event is of the order of 10 minus 15. <laughs> so, the uh, so this sort of like put some structure. It was not understood for a long time. I put it in my uh, new book. Uh, the uh, I put the derivation in in that uh, that statistical uh, consequences of fat tail, which is available online, and uh, uh, hopefully uh, it will change the discourse because it's sort of trivial. I mean, you can, you can rigorously derive something. Uh, people don't get it in a naturalistic environment. But the the sentence and, and this expression, Wittgenstein's ruler, are you measuring the table, not measuring the ruler, applied to the LTCM was in food by randomness. If someone, if I go to a bar 
and someone tells me, listen, uh, Einstein uh, uh, was, you know, uh, incorrect and he's a fraud. I mean, this statement doesn't tell me much about Einstein as much as it tells me about the person uttering the sentence. It's the same thing. Every time you measure something, it tells you something about the probability distribution more than the probability of the event. <laughs> Actually, more rigorously. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.